Hey everybody, welcome to the Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane, and this is the Coding Zoo HTML Building Blocks playlist. In today's lesson, we're gonna cover more form input types. We're gonna cover the input type of color. If you've never used that before, hey, check it out. It's pretty neat. And as usual, we're gonna jump right in. Okay, so hey, on my desktop, I have uh, an index page. I've got my regular uh, body. I went ahead to save time. I went ahead and added a form element, a field set, the legend. And I went ahead and added the input type of color. So I have an input element, and that's how we specify the color by doing type equals color. And if you look here, I have a div that's called color chosen. So I'm going to go over that in just a moment. That's really not, doesn't have much to do with this input type. It's just a little extra uh, feature so I could show you what happens behind the scenes when you choose a color. So let's go over the input element here. I've got input type equals color. So I've got a name of color dash name. Usually you want to use camel case, lowercase c, uppercase n. In this case, I just use dash. Uh, and I've got ID of color dash name. Uh, your name is what's submitted to the server for the server to read your value. Your ID is uh, can be used by uh, JavaScript to actually uh, find this element and do stuff to it, or CSS also. A uh, name can be used also. It's good to provide both. And I have a value. Well, value is, uh, this is a default value. Uh, you do not have to specify that. It is optional, just like all of your other input element types. Uh, and now I added this on change. Don't worry about on change. This is a JavaScript thing. We'll cover this in our JavaScript building block series. Uh, I don't want to go to in depth here. I just put this here so you can see as I choose a different color, what value would be passed to the server if I were to submit it to a server. Um, so I have this on change attribute. I'll go over it real quickly, but it's not something you need uh, or you have to learn to use the input type of color. Again, it's just something I have so you can see what color you choose as I demonstrate it. So I have an on change, uh, which basically sets an event of on change to call this JavaScript snippet here. Uh, and I basically get the uh, document element called color chosen, which is this div right here below. And I set the inner HTML to the value of document get element by id color name its value so what i'm doing is, is basically with javascript i'm getting the value of color name and i'm putting that value inside of this div as enter html as html so it's just a way for me to show you what is seen by the server when you submit this form after you choose a color uh, again, don't worry about that. JavaScript, that's JavaScript. Uh, you'll learn more about that in the JavaScript Building Block series. Go ahead and check that series out. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this element. I'm going to click Refresh, and I have an input box with color. Now, if I click on this box, this pops up, and I can choose all kinds of colors, different shades, all that good stuff. I can add... Uh, custom colors. Anyway, that may differ from browser to browser, but the browsers usually will give you some kind of input box to choose a color with. Pretty neat. I'm going to click on this color right here, click OK, and you'll notice that this number just changed. That's that JavaScript working. I want you to see when I chose this color, I want you to see what would the oh, server see if you submitted this to the server. And you'll see basically uh, this number which represents the color. So I'll click on a different one, it should change again, and you'll notice it's a different number. So, so pretty neat control. All of this is built into your browser. Uh, just, you know, the user can go through and choose whatever color they like and click OK. Now there's some pretty neat attributes you can add on to color. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna add a color range or list of colors. So as you probably have seen in our previous videos, there is a new element called data list. 
So I'm going to create a data list element. I've set the ID to colors and I use the option element to specify different uh, hexadecimal values, uh, different values for different colors. Colors in HTML are defined with either decimal numbers or, or hexadecimal numbers. You can get this list by, you know, of course, Google's your friend. If you don't know in your top, off the top uh, of your head, search here first and then hit Google next or either way. But <laughs> hopefully you find what you need here. All right. So let's um, let's go ahead. I've got this data list that defines these uh, colors but I haven't attached it to this element. So let's go ahead and attach it. So I'm going to add attribute list equals, and I'm going to type in the name of the data list, colors, click save, click refresh, and click down there. And now you can see a list of recommended colors here pretty neat. So those are the colors that are in my list. And I think it defaulted to the first one. Let's choose a different one. There we go. Go back to the first one, different number. And as you can tell, those are or should be, yeah, the colors in my list here. Pretty neat. If I want to change it up, I wonder what F1 would look like. Is that even a color? Refresh. There. There you go, there's some different shade. All right, pretty neat. It lets you choose the, set these defaults here so the user can see them right off, your recommended colors. It will let you choose other colors here. I'm not sure if uh, those colors will be submitted to the server or not since you provided that list. I'm, I'm not sure that's a way to restrict it or not. Let's, let's check it out and see. I'm gonna add a um, input type of Submit, which if you haven't seen our previous lessons, that will add a button that will, when clicked, automatically uh, submit this form to like a server or to wherever you specified in your form element. Okay, so I am going to save that. Go over here, click refresh. I've got a submit button now. Now I chose this first default color Pretty sure submit works, works there. I'm gonna go to other, choose a color that's not in that list. I'm pretty sure that one is probably not in the list. Click submit, and yep, it will let you choose it. So it looks like the list in this case, in some cases, some elements will actually keep you from entering a data that's not in the list. In this case, it looks like that is okay. You can still submit it. Uh, you can choose a different color. It just gives you a recommended color list when you click on the down arrow. So, hey, pretty neat stuff. This is the input type of color. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, leave me a message below. That's all we have for today. If this is your first time joining us, you want to see more lessons from the Coding Zoo on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and even other languages in the future, click the subscribe button, click on that alert bell. If you like this video, click like, if you dislike, click dislike, but hey, leave us a message below. Let us know how we can improve our goals going to, as usual, is to help others like yourself learn how to program. So leave us some feedback. Thank you for joining. I hope to see you again in the future. Talk to you later. Bye.